France is among the heartlands of enduro, where participation is at a high with over 100 events staged per year. But in 2022, it's again their federation's turn to organise the sport's biggest event, the FIM ISDE. A source of pride and inspiration behind the scenes, plus an opportunity to continue the sport's growth domestically. It's a unifying event for the whole of French Enduro. It's a true festival of motorcycling and it's a team sport. And for us as the French Motorcycling Federation, these team events are something outside of the norm compared to the rest of the season, which is based around individual riders. It enlivens the discipline and our moto clubs. So we're delighted to welcome this edition here in puy en velay for 2022 on real enduro ground that has hosted so many national and international events, including the World Championship. So I'm convinced that the riders who compete at this ISDE will experience a unique and magical moment in the heart of enduro with some incredible scenery. That's the sporting side of things. The difficulty is in welcoming 650 people for 10 days with all of the logistical challenges that involves, electricity, etc. The ISDE is an exceptional event, organised completely separately, an event over 10 days, which these days is very complicated to achieve. But clearly, it's a human adventure. We're focused on the project. Everyone has to pull in the same direction to be sure it goes well. And I have no doubt about the collaboration we have between the FFM, FIM and the organisers. The ISDE is also an opportunity for us to bring together our French teams to allow our young riders to really show what they can do together. It's essential they perform because I believe federations and sporting competitions really live based on the performances of their champions. And for us as a federation, we've put everything into place to accompany them. We have a great team on site to help them, to put them at ease and be ready for this competition. The French team is made up of 10 riders, four trophy, three juniors, three women. But in total, that means 45 people, because as well as 10 riders, it's technical staff, one mechanic per rider, but also the technical staff that work here throughout the competition and in the week of preparation leading up to it. It's also a medical team, a doctor and physiotherapist, a catering team to follow us throughout the event and the week's build-up, the coaches, of course, and the media team, including the video team, that follows us so that the fans can do so as well. Making it into one of the French trophy teams for the six days of enduro is no mean feat. Behind the huge honour of earning a tricolor jersey is a lifetime journey of preparation alongside national trainers and team managers. As far as our elite sport structure is concerned, what we've put into place in France is a system to discover the best youth talents for each age group. We then work with them right from the start. We bring our best riders together on courses for them to try different terrain, different ground. We keep our links with them, working with them over years, watching them as they move on to teams and factories in the professional sphere, all while keeping this link to them to keep their trust. The riders have to feel comfortable to tell us whether this event fits in their season, their calendar. And once that selection is complete, we have a last cause to prepare everything and bring everyone together for the purposes of cohesion, to work together as a team and to make the final preparations for this adventure together.